Hello, today we are going to be making some Valentine's Day art inspired by Keith Haring. Keith Haring is the artist that came up with these action figures. I call them action figures because they're figures in action. So there's really bright colors, bold outlines, and um, they're just very colorful. So what we're going to do is we're gonna be making a Valentine's Day kind of picture using his figures and a heart. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is you're gonna have your paper laid out in landscape mode, the long way across. So you want it horizontally. And we're gonna have the two figures on the bottom and then the heart on the top. They're gonna to be holding up the heart. All right, we're gonna start. So I'm gonna start with the heart first. And to make the heart, I'm going to make a V in the middle of my paper towards the top. And that's gonna be for the inside of our heart shape. And then to make the rest of the heart, we're gonna draw a curvy line this way and then another curvy line this way. I'm just trying to match them up a little bit, but they don't have to be perfectly lined up. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have it come down and have it come down again. And then I'm gonna leave this part open because I'm gonna be putting our figures here and their arms are gonna go over top of it, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna draw the heads first. So I'm gonna draw a upside down U here. And then on this side, another upside down U. And then to make the arms for the figures, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw an L shape. So from here to here, to connect those lines, there's gonna be an L shape. And then I'm gonna do another L shape over here to make the other part of the arm and the elbow. Over here, I'm gonna make a backwards L. Boom, boom. Same thing over here. And then to make the hand, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw like a circle. His figures are really simple to draw and easy to draw. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish making my heart. I'm gonna make this line go down. It's gonna have our point here and then go back up again. So you're imagining the line going underneath his elbow right here, underneath his head, and then just attaching right there, okay? Now I'm gonna make another L shape, but it's gonna be backwards. So from here to here, I'm gonna bubble it out from here to here. It's gonna be another circle. And then for the other arm, I'm gonna have it go up like this, kind of like that same L shape. And then having it go down and then have the circle here for the other hand. And then the body will just have to come down like that. Just make sure I have, okay, lined it up. All right, and then he has a lot of lines in his drawings that show movement. So we'll have lines on the sides of the bodies, around the arms, and even around the heart, just to make it look like it's moving or it's shining. And Keith Haring likes to have thick lines around his figures. So I'm just gonna trace to make those lines thicker. And it's also a good time to fix any mistakes that you make. If you already use the thick marker, you don't have to outline. But I'm just gonna outline real quick.
So I just went around my heart to make it a little bit um, bolder. So I made it thicker by adding some more lines around it. Um, of course, if you wanted to keep yours the same as the figures, the same thickness of line, you could definitely do that. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to add color. You can choose whatever colors you want. I'm going to use red. It's always a good idea when you're coloring, especially with markers or crayons, that your marker lines of color are going in all in the same direction. So if I'm going up and down on this side of my heart, I have to go up and down on this side of my heart. You wanna keep coloring in the same direction. And of course, if you wanted to paint this, you could definitely paint this. It would go faster. Okay. See, I'm still going up and down. Okay, so you could add colors to your figures. I'm just gonna leave them black and white because that's how Keith Haring had his figures for the um, artwork that inspired the one that we just made. Um, you could add more figures. You could do one of the, his uh, dog figurines. Um, those are pretty fun to draw. Actually, I can show you right here on the side what it would look like. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do one of his dog figures because those are really popular in his artwork. So to make the dog figure, it's really easy. All you have to do is a triangle. Oops. Okay, one triangle, another triangle, and these are going to be for the ears. Excuse me. All right. And then we're going to draw a straight vertical line, horizontal line. I'm getting my straight horizontal line. That's going to go up to make a square or rectangle and go straight down and then it's going to go up for his back leg we're going to make another leg here another leg here and they can be different lengths and then the like this one's a little bit longer and then for the mouth same shape it's going to be made out of rectangles and then you just color it in And I'm gonna outline him too. Colored my dog blue. I'm gonna outline it. Right. And then I'm going to draw the lines for like the noise of the bark, and then maybe I'll do another heart. And then maybe let's do a heart here for these people. Heart here, and a heart here. Okay. 
And that's how you make a Valentine's Day inspired by <laughs> Keith Haring. All right, bonus video. So we did the heart with the Keith Haring figures. So what I wanna do now is show you how to draw a box with hearts coming out of it, kind of like a surprise. And it will help you kind of practice uh, making 3D forms like a cube. So let's get started. So the, there's a lot of different ways to draw cubes and boxes, but um, this is one way I saw that I thought was kind of interesting and it makes, a drawing, makes drawing a box kind of easy. So let me show you. So in the middle of your paper, you're gonna make a dot right here. So that's where my first dot is gonna go. So that's gonna be for one side of my box. And then I'm gonna go over a little bit and I'm gonna draw another dot. So I have one, two. And I'm gonna put my finger, boom, right in the middle of it and draw a dot above my finger and then a dot below where my finger was, so right there. So I'm just gonna go down a little bit. And these are gonna make the points where my lines are gonna go. So we're gonna connect the dots. So we're gonna connect the dot here. So one, two, these two dots, these two dots, and these two dots. Okay, and you don't have to make them perfect. Uh, to make the sides of the box, the sides of your box are gonna line up with the side of your paper. So there's gonna be a line going down this way and see how this line follows this line. Same thing here, going down, and they're gonna match up with this line too. And then the tricky part is making the bottom of the box because those lines are gonna match up not with your paper, but with the lines that we already drew, those slanted lines. So this line goes from here to here, like this dot to this dot. So you're gonna do the same thing here. And it's gonna follow that line. So it's gonna be slanted. Same thing on this side, you're gonna follow this line just like that. And that's gonna make your box shape and it's gonna make it look like it's foreshortened or it's over on an angle. And then you can actually draw a straight line going down like that. If you wanna draw the flaps for the box, you can do that. So I'm gonna draw a slanted line going up to make the cardboard flap on this side. And then just beating them together and they're gonna follow this slanted line. And then I'm gonna have maybe this side of the box going out like this. So slanted line, kind of like a V shape right here. And then the top and the bottom line are gonna match up. So this line is slanted and then this line is slanted. And then for the other sides, you can have it going down and up like that. Same thing over here. And I'm not gonna worry that my lines are kind of um, overlapping right here. And then inside the box or whatever you want coming out of the box, you can start drawing. So if it's Valentine's Day, like we're gonna have soon, you could draw hearts coming out of the box, like surprise hearts. And to make a heart, you just make a V and then rounded shapes on each side. You can make different sizes. You could also have flowers popping out of the box, candy, a monster, <laughs> whatever you want for your um, surprise coming out of the box. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline my box. And then I'm gonna color in my hearts. And it's okay if the marker goes outside the lines a little bit. On the box, you could write Happy Valentine's Day or Open Me. I'll do that, Open Me. Or 
or you could do surprise. And to make it look like the writing is on the side of the box, it has to follow those lines. So since this line is slanted, the wording on the box is slanted. All right, I'm gonna keep it kind of simple. You could also add shading if you wanted to, but I just wanted to show you a quick bonus thing that you could draw for Valentine's Day. All right, have fun, see you soon, and I'll have a good Valentine's Day. <laughs> Bye.